What's up, ninjas? It's Pump Monday. That's what's up. Pump freaking Monday. Yeah, Pump Monday. We got a shrub to remove. This is one of them shrubs that we've been talking about with the customer since the end, really around September or so, I think, towards the end of the season. And I've just been busy with mowing. It was not an emergency. But now it's a good time, and we're going to do one at a time just to kind of separate the uh cost of it which is fine with me because it's not like we're super busy anyway and i'm always around the area well we guess s were you able to get it around at the bottom i am <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to you want to say something oh yeah go real slow go real slow mm -hmm. okay a couple of things i want to talk to you about but let's get to this hopefully tiny will be able to yank this Recording. I got put in four wheel drive, Sass. Four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Hmm. We wanted to try this just in case we got lucky and we're able to pull up, hook up, and pull. Yeah, because sometimes on Monday you get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Sassy gets lucky every Monday though. Yeah. Yes, when you dig around a route like this, all the way around what are we looking for and what do you discover well we're looking for these okay the cause of why it won't come out of the ground okay that one and this one if you nine times out of ten can find the main connector to the ground and you cut that whether you break it you take a chainsaw whatever you do then this should come out easily by pulling it with tiny because you have broken it from the main source of where that root could be going down in the ground who knows how long we're going to try to clean that up get a lot of that dirt out of there so we can take a chainsaw and chop it off and finish our circle there's a little section here just in case there's another one around here somewhere and then we're going to hook it up to tiny and pull her out Done. Notice that we put it underneath this big root where we cut it so that way when it's pulling It'll go forward Hopefully tip over and yank this SLB out of here Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna put the metal piece up by the truck. Okay, because I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Yeah that's how windshields get burned. Yes, one other thing to keep in mind ninjas is whenever you're pulling on something yanking something out And there's a chance of debris flying up and hitting your truck most cases we're really worried about at that point any kind of glass if you have a toolbox leave the toolbox open because you're protecting your rear window not a lot of people think about that hmm. let's try to figure out what the root of the problem here is sass because yeah right because there's no reason tiny should be sliding like that and did this thing even move so in this case what you do is you just keep digging deeper Keep going around that circle until you break or stumble upon the next big root. There you go. Good. There we have it, ninjas. The root of the problem has been figured out. <laughs> so what the problem was, it was on that other side. It wasn't the big one that I showed you earlier. Uh, I think, yeah, that right there. So this is the one we first cut, but right there. And it was deeper down in there. So that's why we had to dig a little further to find it. But once we did, tiny, that was no problem. That was smooth, wasn't it? You want to try to together pull that, drag it over there with that? I can maybe do it alone. You want to do it? Let's see it. And then I ain't that big. <laughs> <laughs> Decided to come home and clean up tiny, wash tiny. So what did you just do, Sass? You sprayed it with uh, some, oh, super clean. okay, just basically around the bottom of the truck, the rims, the tires. Mm -hmm. 
And so instead of taking it to the car wash, one of the things I purchased a while back this last season, and I think I had it in the back seat in one of the videos, but I never really got to show you. Mama Ninja's already used this and she's tried it and she really loved it, but I never got a chance to do it. So it's a perfect opportunity. Nothing is in order because Mama Ninja's already used it. But here's the gun. This is where the battery goes. And you have a couple of options here. One, if you're only looking to get about 90... You, you, you know, you're in, you're in there. I'm in the face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're trying... <laughs> If you're trying to get about what 94 or so psi i think is what it said you can only use the small one and it's basically real real simple click-ons okay so if you're trying to just use something you know where you don't need a whole lot of power but if you do the full attachment you're getting up to 320 psi and so it's not super powerful maybe like a pressure washer actually but it should do the job with just washing your vehicle. Funny thing is, Sassy's the one who saw this when we were picking up the Echo TV blowers. As you can see, Sassy has switched back to the regular old water hose right here so why'd you do that sus not enough power sir not enough power okay so what are your thoughts on that works power tools well it's okay for a small job if you had to rinse off your front porch or... mm -hmm. yeah there's other people who reviewed this particular product at this particular company uh and it seems everybody seems to have liked it from what i've come across but uh, what if this was sent to us or i uh, you got it for free or I got paid for it. It's like when your creepy uncle gives you $5. Mm -hmm. You don't like talking to him, but he did give you $5. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. You sent that product here. You kind of feel a little bit of pressure to say it was a good thing. Mm -hmm. But that's just another joy of working here. I don't have to say it's good if it sucks. Mama Ninja said that we both lost our minds. She loves that thing. And she says the battery probably was just not fully charged. Ain't y'all married? Mm. Then she's right. I guess. So, <laughs> so she's so, 100% right. It's 100%. Nature Minute with Sassy. You know, I'm glad you brought that okay. up. Okay. Did you know sea otters hold hands while they sleep? What? Yeah, they sleep in the water on their back and they hold hands. No way. Mm -hmm. What? Hold it and the whole time they're sleeping? Oh, yeah. Isn't that romantic? Sea what? Otters. Sea otters. Well, not sea otters, just otters in general. Okay, all right. That's, that's why I was like, what? Okay, mm -hmm. so they hold hands. Mm hmm. I never heard. I never knew that. Yep, so Why do they hold their hands? Do you know? Just so they don't drift apart. Oh. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day nature minute for you. Them otters is awesome. The carport company has reached out and basically told me tomorrow to go to my dealer and ho in hopes to resolve uh, whatever the issues that we have encountered uh, when they tried to show up and install and couldn't install. So that was an update. I'll keep you posted tomorrow how that goes and what's going on and if everything works out or not. Number two, Dallas, Texas, the Ninja Gathering. Quick reminder, it's coming up. It's just around the corner. Can you believe it how fast time flies? Just around the corner. I think about 11, 12 days, give or take. So I just want to remind everyone, I have sent out the emails. So you've got an email with the information, the time, the place. Look forward to meeting all of you, whoever shows up, who can show up, who has time. Uh, I really appreciate you guys, and it's just going to be a blast. I'm looking forward to it. I've gotten a lot of messages on Instagram DMing me, asking me about uh, weight loss and things like that, that I have, uh, and I fluctuate during the winter. I'll gain a little and I'll lose a little, but this winter in particular, I've really committed myself to really trying to lose some weight, and I have. And a lot of you are like, what are you doing? Are you doing anything specific? What's going on? You really want to know what goes on about 90% of my household as far as what we eat, the portions we eat, and what's going on. I don't post as much of it on my Instagram channel or really on the YouTube because I don't have time for that. Mom and Ninja on Instagram right here above my head. She has an Instagram channel. She is more involved with that sharing of what she makes what she cooks we do eat out but nowhere near as much as maybe some and she really likes it she enjoys it and she shares more of that stuff she shares what we eat 
breakfast, lunch, dinner, yada yada. What's tomorrow? Thunder Pumper Tuesday. That's right, Thunder Pumper Tuesday, and it's a special one. Take care, ninjas. Peace.